Getty Image The Golden State Warriors are prohibitive favorites to return to the NBA Finals in 2019 and barring weirdness on the injury front, it will be relatively stunning if the Warriors don't win their third consecutive title. As a result, there can be a sense of inevitability to the proceedings, particularly in the Western Conference, as a perception is developing, at least in some corners, that most of Golden State's most worthy challengers dwell in the East. With that said, there are occasional mentions of the Oklahoma City Thunder as a real threat, particularly given the ascent of Paul George as a tertiary MVP candidate and the team's overall defensive aptitude. Still, there is probably more buzz about the Los Angeles Lakers, who don't project to make the playoffs at this moment, than there is about the Denver Nuggets and, well, it just doesn't make any sense. The Nuggets have fallen short of the playoffs in five consecutive seasons and that, at least in part, helps to explain some of the doubts surrounding Nikola Jokic's team. Denver did win 46 games a year ago, falling just one result short of a playoff berth, but the Nuggets weren't exactly expected to challenge for home court advantage in the first round this season, even if many did project the team to break through to crash the playoff party. However, with the All-Star break in the rearview mirror, Denver has a terrifying profile and it is time to acknowledge it. For starters, the Nuggets have the best home record, 26-4, in the NBA, taking full advantage of the altitude and built-in perks of playing in Denver. Obviously, home record isn't everything but the team does project to host the majority of at least one playoff series and, at the moment, Denver has a solid lead for the no. Two spot in the West. That might set the table for a very interesting path to the Western Conference Finals, even if no one would pick the Nuggets against the Warriors. It is fair to point out that the Nuggets recently lost three games in a row but, since then, Denver has rattled off four straight wins. None of those victories were particularly jarring in nature, but, on the flip side, the Nuggets simply continue to take care of business isn't a team without flaws, especially on the defensive end, but Denver has a top three offense in the NBA that helps to establish a top five baseline in terms of net rating. Until the Nuggets prove themselves on the biggest stage, detractors will point to their lack of experience and that makes sense on some level. Still, there isn't a real argument against Denver as a legitimate threat to meet Golden State with a berth in the NBA Finals on the line and, at the moment, that might even be the most likely matchup on the board. Where does Denver land in this week's Dime Power Rankings? Let's take stock. 1. Golden State Warriors, 43-17, last week, first, Getty Image from a resume standpoint, this should be the Bucks. I've acknowledged that before but, fair or not, it would take something significant to bump Golden State from the top spot. The Warriors losing to the James Harden less Rockets was a very interesting data point but it wasn't quite enough. 2 Milwaukee Bucks 46-14 last week, second. The Bucks just keep cooking everyone in their path. Milwaukee is riding a five-game winning streak that includes wins over the Pacers and Celtics, and they picked up a win on Monday without Giannis Antetokounmpo in the mix. Granted, that wasn't exactly against the best competition but Milwaukee's season-long profile remains staggeringly impressive. 3 Toronto Raptors, 44-17, last week, 3rd Toronto saw a seven-game winning streak evaporate with a bad home loss to the Magic over the weekend. That defeat doesn't look as bad in context, though, with Orlando playing improved basketball and Kawhi Leonard on the sideline for the game. In the big picture, there isn't much to worry about with the Raptors and they remain comfortably in the top three as a result. 4. Denver Nuggets, 41-18, last week, 7th, we've discussed the Nuggets quite a bit in this space but a Tuesday night battle with Oklahoma City, on TNT, should provide even more information about both squads. 5. Portland Trailblazers, 37-23, last week, 9th, look out for Portland. The Blazers have won four in a row, including wins over the Warriors and Sixers, and three of those results came away from home. 
It's fair to be skeptical in the grand scheme, but Terry Stotts has his team feeling dangerous in late February. 6 Philadelphia 76ers, 39-22, last week, 5th, Getty Image The Sixers have been a little bit inconsistent, with recent home losses to both Boston and Portland. Still, their overall resume is strong and, like Denver above, we'll learn more about Philly when they take on Oklahoma City later this week on national television. 7. Indiana Pacers, 40-21, last week, 8th, we're another week into the post Oladipo era for the Pacers this season and, yet, they just keep rolling along. Indiana has won 8 of 10, with two respectable losses and, even amid all kinds of information that should tell you they'll regress, they just haven't. 8. Oklahoma City Thunder, 38-21, last week, 6th. The Thunder slip a bit this week, simply due to their showing in a home loss to Sacramento. That isn't a ghastly result, but, when coupled with a road defeat in New Orleans, penance was due. 9. Houston Rockets, 35-25, last week, 10th, everyone is trying to figure out how the Rockets beat the Warriors, in Oakland, without James Harden. That was a very weird result. With that said, Chris Paul's bounce back is a significant story and Houston is a very different and more dangerous team when CP3 is right. 10 Boston Celtics, 37-23, last week, 4th, it's been a yo-yo season for the Celtics and that's been on display in recent days. After two bad home losses, Boston bounced back and beat Philadelphia and Detroit in succession. On cue, the Celtics then lost to the Bucks, and that wasn't a bad result, especially on the road. However, Boston then dropped a game by 10 points to the Bulls. That can't happen. 11 Utah Jazz 33-26, last week, 11th Getty Image The Jazz went 1-2 in a three-game week and that isn't great in a vacuum. Then, you remember that Utah's losses were to the Warriors and Thunder on the road. Context is a thing. 1-2 LA Clippers, 34-28, last week, 14th. Aside from a 27-point loss in Denver that doubled is running into a buzzsaw, the Clippers have been playing pretty well. Tobias Harris' trade may have shifted some of the focus from this club during the stretch run but they have a two-game lead on the no. 9 spot in the West. Don't forget that. 13 Detroit Pistons, 29-30, last week, 18th, look at the Pistons. Detroit has won three in a row and seven of their last eight games. That is impressive and noteworthy in itself, but the Pistons have wins over the Pacers and Nuggets during that run and appear to be in great shape when it comes to playoff positioning. 14. Orlando Magic 28-33, last week, 15th, if the season ended today, the Magic wouldn't make the playoffs. Still, Orlando's recent run has to be acknowledged and it continued with an impressive road win in Toronto on Sunday. 15. Brooklyn Nets, 32-30, last week, 17th, the Spurs are a mess, we'll cover that momentarily, but Brooklyn just knocked off San Antonio and Charlotte in back-to-back -back games. The Nets are just solid and playoff caliber. That isn't sexy, but it's true. 16 Minnesota Timberwolves, 29-31, last week, 16th, Getty Image don't look now, but the Wolves aren't dead in the playoff race. Granted, Minnesota is three games out of the no. 8 spot, but, with all of the discussion about the Lakers, Carl Anthony Towns and company have the same record through 60 games. 17 Sacramento Kings 31-29, last week, 12, the Kings probably don't deserve a 5-spot drop, if only because the schedule wasn't kind to them this week. Sacramento went 1-3 on a road trip but the losses came to the Nuggets, Warriors and Wolves. That's not disastrous. 18 San Antonio Spurs, 33-29, last week, 13th, Greg Popovich's team might back into the playoffs anyway, but they've been really bad for a while. San Antonio is in the midst of a run that includes seven losses in eight games and even with most of those defeats coming to playoff-level opponents, the Spurs have to start winning again.
19, New Orleans Pelicans, 27-35, last week, 21st, aside from the ongoing Anthony Davis mess, the Pelicans aren't all that interesting. They have beaten the Lakers and Thunder in recent days, though, and that accounts for the mild jump in this space. 20. Charlotte Hornets, 28-32, last week, 20th, as noted in the Orlando section above, it would be the Hornets, not the Magic, in the know. 8th spot if the playoffs began today. It doesn't feel like Charlotte is earning it right now, though, as the team has lost 4 of 5 at an inopportune time. 21 Chicago Bulls, 16-45, last week, 26, Getty Image I can assure you that there are not 9 teams in the NBA worse than the Bulls. However, Chicago is playing vastly improved basketball and that includes a recent 3-game winning streak. They aren't a complete disaster anymore, and that deserves some shine. 22 Memphis Grizzlies, 24-38, last week, 24th, the Grizzlies aren't better than the Lakers but, for effect, we put them here after Memphis toppled Los Angeles on Monday. Shouts to Mike Conley and Jonas Valanciunas. 23, Los Angeles Lakers, 29-31, last week, 22nd, losing on the road to Philadelphia and New Orleans is acceptable, even as the Lakers pursue a playoff spot. Losing to the Hawks and Grizzlies anywhere isn't acceptable, yet Los Angeles did just that over the past two weeks. Yikes. 24. Dallas Mavericks, 26-34, last week, 23rd, Dallas has some incentive to lose, as they owe a top-five protected pick to Atlanta as part of the famous Luka doncic Trey Young swap. Even if the Mavs aren't likely to keep that selection, losing five in a row might help in that stealth effort. To be fair, all five losses came to playoff caliber opponents. 25. Washington Wizards, 24-36, last week, 25th. It hasn't been embarrassing in terms of performance and effort, but the Wizards have lost seven of nine games. Honestly, they just aren't very good and it shows. 26. Miami Heat, 26-33, last week, 19th, Getty Image Miami chose a very bad time to lose 6 out of 7 games. Even then, the Heat wouldn't have dropped this far under normal circumstances but Eric Spolstra's team lost to the Suns on Monday, and they do so at home. That's dreadful. 27 Atlanta Hawks, 20-41, last week, 29th James Harden's 30-point streak came to an end and the Hawks were on the other side when it happened. That wasn't exactly predictable but Atlanta was pretty competitive in Houston and Trey Young continues to look like the offensive star many thought he could be coming out of Oklahoma. 28. Cleveland Cavaliers, 14-47, last week, 27th Cleveland dropped their last game to Portland but, of course, there is no great shame in that. Overall, the Cavs look much better and that shows in their recent results, having won three out of the last five games. Welcome back, Kevin Love. 29 New York Knicks, 12-48, last week, 28th, break up the Knicks. New York has won two out of three games. I repeat. New York has won two out of three games. 30. Phoenix Suns, 12-50, last week, 30th. Igor Kokowskov presides over the NBA's first team to 50 losses this season and, honestly, the Suns have been brutal for a long while. On bright side, Phoenix did snap a 17-game losing streak on Monday night and even if that wasn't enough to jump out of the number 30 spot, it made things more interesting.